Hello, this is Daryl Jung, Technical Marketing Engineer at Fortinet. Today I'm going to introduce Fortinet's Privilege Access Management Tool, 40PAM, and demo its use case of ZTNA controls on secrets. 40PAM is the latest in the Fortinet line of identity access management, which includes 40 Authenticator and 40 Token. 40PAM is a system that assigns higher permission levels to accounts with access to critical resources and admin level controls. In essence, 40PAM is an application gateway. Only users that are provided credentials by 40PAM can access resources behind this enforcement point as shown here. Zero Trust Network Access, ZTNA, can then be enforced on 40PAM by policy to protect access to the GUI or even as granular as launching an individual secret to a specific remote device. When the device first connects, posture information is gathered by 40 client and sent to the EMS server management plane. The device will then receive a certificate for identification purposes from EMS and a set of ZTNA tags, which are labels based on security posture rules. From there, 40PAM can leverage these ZTNA tags to restrict access through policy. Now, let's see ZTNA in action with 40PAM. For today's demo, I will be using a Mac as a workstation without the correct ZTNA tags, a Windows RDP connected workstation as the 40 client device with authorized ZTNA tags, an EMS server for ZTNA management, and a 40 pound device to control access. Now we'll start the demo by logging into our 40 PAM device. We're gonna look at the security fabric and how it's connected to the EMS server. We'll click on security fabric, fabric connectors. We'll locate our EMS server. We'll notice that it's connected to 172.16.80 dot 246. Next we'll look at our system ZTNA status. Under system ZTNA. We'll click on ZTNA tags and we'll see which tags are passed down from the EMS server. We'll take note of lab subnet as this is the ZTNA tag that we'll key off of in our policies. Now we'll flip over to our Windows workstation with 40 client installed. You'll notice it's connected to the 40 client EMS server 172.16.80.246. This is the 40 client EMS server. We'll click on endpoints to find our Windows device. And we'll notice it's connected and it gathered the lab subnet ZTNA tag. We will begin our policy configuration on the ZTNA tagged workstation to avoid being blocked. We'll log in as admin. We'll then go to system, ZTNA, ZTNA servers. We'll edit this policy and enable client certificates. This will deny access to the 40 PAM GUI without a proper server certificate. Next, we'll log into 40 PAM from our workstation, but will be denied. Our next example will show ZTNA policy denying access to a GUI. We'll click on system. ZTNA, ZTNA rules, and here under ZTNA tag, we'll add the lab subnet and click OK. We will try to log back in from our workstation, but we'll notice we're denied by ZTNA firewall policy because no device tags are found. Our last example will be protecting the launching of a secret with ZTNA tags. We'll go to secrets, secret list, choose our secret, go to secret permissions, launch device control, and in the device tag, we'll choose our lab subnet tag. We'll go ahead and save that policy. Now we'll slide back over to our other workstation. We'll try to log into 40 PAM. 
once successful, we'll attempt to try to launch that secret we just protected with ZTNA tags. We'll go to secrets, secret list, we'll choose our secret and try to launch it unsuccessfully. Finally, we'll head back over to our ZTNA enabled workstation and try to launch that secret. Because we have the correct ZTNA enabled tag, we're able to receive the 40 PAM credentials and log into the device. We'll take a look one more time at the secret itself and show that we still have the permissions for that lab subnet. This concludes our demo. I'd like to thank you for your time today. If you'd like more information about 40PAM, please visit our website at www.40net.com.